God. God, what do I do now? Oh, God. You never said I was going to die from a terminal disease. This was not our agreement. A terminal disease is not supposed to see the end of me. You said you would never give us temptation. That is me or not. God, don't look at me anymore. Oh, God. Look at my report. Where is your faith? Lord, where is your faith? Oh, God. Oh, Lord, this is too much for me. Oh, God. But, but I've been faithful. I've always served you. Now the doctor has said I have only a few more days to go. This is so much for me. This is so much for me. Where is your face? Come. Have a seat. It seems you have questions for me. The doctor said that my illness is no longer curable. The doctor said I'm going to die in a few days. The doctor said I have lost my womb. <laughs> I have lost everything. All I have heard from you is what the doctor said. Yes, no. That is what the doctor said. How about what I said concerning infirmities? Or have you forgotten my word? That by my stripes you are made whole? <laughs> yes, Lord. You said you are the healer. No, no. I know you are the healer and I believe you are the healer. It is just that the doctor said that the illness has grown beyond any form of remedy. Would you rather be moved by an invention when you have the actual assurance of the inventor, the one whom nothing both in heaven and on earth can escape? There is the doctor's report, but there is also my report. The question is which have you chosen to believe? You are allowing what the doctor told you to be more overwhelming than what I already told you. And that is why you are not getting your miracle. I can see through your heart that you believe so much more in the doctor than you believe in my word. You are right. I remember my friend who did not believe the doctor's report. And she got her healing two days after. But that was headache. Mine is a terminal disease. The same faith you used to receive healing for headache is the same for every infirmity. Only believe. Only believe. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, be removed and it shall happen. You only have to believe. Just believe. Now, I believe, no. Please, I'm begging. Please. Please, take this thing away. You do not have to beg me. Healing is your right. Good health is your right. Receive that which I have given unto you. Healing is the children's bread. Amen. Amen. I receive it. I am healed. But... I'm still normal. Hey. I'm normal. Why are you laughing, Lord? Your heart is not fully convinced that you are ill. 
So you expect a heat in your body or a shaking from inside out for you to know that you are ill? <laughs> if you are going to walk in the power of God, you are going to take what I have said. It is not a feeling. It is a knowing. It is a conviction that you are healed. <gasps> wow. Jesus, now I know that I am healed. Great. Great. Your focus <laughs> shouldn't be on what you see, but on what I have said. You must come to me with the truth that you know, not a feeling. And the truth is... I am healed. Yes, you are healed. This is why many people don't get their healing. Because they believe in what they can see and what other people tell them that they think. More than the word of God, your body responds to what you believe. So which word are you going to hold on to concerning your healing? For God so loved the world. John 3.16 No. John 11.35 Jesus wept. How does all of this translate into your life? Listen, you need to know what I have said concerning healing. It must be impressed in your spirit, not just random notions or scriptures. Who his own self? For our sins in his body on a tree that we been dead to sin should live unto righteousness. By whose stripes ye were made healed? First Peter 2.24 That's right. You keep speaking the word until it catches up in your spirit. Hallelujah. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death. Neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things have passed away. Revelations 21.4 That is it. The power of life and death lies in your tongue. And I am glad that you are speaking life. The word is life. I am healed. Yes. And speak no more of this falsehood you call a doctor's report. Instead, Bask in the truth of what I have told you. Say I am healed. I am healed. Say I am made whole. I am made whole. Say I am healed. I am healed. I am made whole. I am made whole. <laughs> I am healed. I am made whole. I am made whole. I feel the pain. I am healed. I am the righteousness of God. And by His stripes I am healed. Yes, God is so intentional about me. And He has relieved me of all my infirmities. Yes, I am healed. I am healed and the righteousness of God. Healing is my bread. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, thank you for watching our video. I'm sure it was a blessing. Do well to follow us on Instagram and all our social media platforms at The Windows. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family. You want to make a donation and you want to support our ministry. The account details are on the screen. Yeah. Thank you so much. God bless you. See you next time for another lovely video.